Alright, so we're gonna try to install the Maxi Cozy Nico Lux, and it came in two pieces. This is the bottom base, and this is the actual seat itself. The next thing you said to do was look in your car. If you have a car manual, it'll tell you where the anchors are in the car. Um, but it looks like our car, we have the Mazda CX-5. It actually shows a picture of where to put the baby seat and where the anchors are. The anchors are these little rods that are in the back. So we got two here, we got two on the other side. And it looks like we might even be able to get away with the middle if we decided to do that too. So we're gonna do the rear passenger side just because we watched a bunch of TikTok videos and they were saying the safest place is the center to put your baby. The second safest place is gonna be the, uh, the rear passenger side. So we're gonna go there just because it has the two anchors right there conveniently. The next step it looks like I have to take the anchors off the bottom base itself. So in order to do that, I have to loosen up the strap. This is the way it came packed. Um, to give some slack in order to unclip them. But to do that, you press this gray button down and that allows you to pull the strap through. And now that I have more slack, I can actually unclip them by pressing this red button all the way down and then it pops out that whole piece right there. So if you see, you press that red button, it moves that little metal piece there. So we do that on this side. Same thing, red button all the way down, whole clip comes out. It is still anchored there with this screw so the whole strap doesn't come off, but now we can actually anchor them into the seats. All right, so real quick, I noticed while putting this in place that there's a, there's a handle back here. I was like, what the hell is that handle? I had no idea what that is, but if you flip it around, you can actually see if you pull that handle down, you can actually change the angle of the seat itself. So it turns out that that's a reclining feature that we probably don't need right now. Uh, the baby will be able to sit in here, but if you ever wanted to recline, or raise the angle of the seat, um, that's what that feature does to uh, help your baby sit upright as she gets a little older. All right, so now that I have the strap undone, um, it looks like I have to run the strap through these two top holes here. Um, I did read that the side with the adjustable function here has to end up on the right side of the seat um when looking at it right so that's the right side so i'm gonna take that end with the adjustable strap i'm gonna run it through this side and then back down on the right side set the straps through let's adjust everything so it looks nice still got the left side over here and then i'm gonna press that red button again that opens up that metal piece and I'm going to attach it to one of the anchor bars. Make sure that's nice and snug right there. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the left side. I'm going to press that button, open it, and attach it to that anchor. That's nice and tight. So it looks like it's easier to pull it tight by going, taking this outside strap, putting it back in, and then pulling that. See how it pulls nice and smooth in there? Again, keeping everything in place that you want it. Um, I also read in the manual that if you put your hand down on this back part, it'll actually help you pull more slack out. That way it's, you can get it even more snug. All right, pull it down really tight. Another thing that they said, again, in the manual is that every now and then you're probably gonna have to check back in and uh, just make sure that it hasn't loosened up and that it stayed nice and snug. So that's something to keep in mind over time. That looks pretty good. I can put a little pressure on there, but that's pretty snug. We could grab the carrier itself and let's, it should just click in. Yeah, we heard that nice loud click, so that's in a good position. Um, I do know there was a sticker, I was reading that, says that that line should be parallel with the ground if not using the base, uh, which is an option. So if you weren't gonna use this base, just make sure that line levels out with the ground. But since we're using the base, that's not too much of a worry for us. Otherwise, this is good. Another thing I was reading is that when the baby's in her seat, you wanna make sure that this handle actually is kept in that upright position. If we wanted to grab her and take her back out, we are grabbing this handle here, if you can see that. Grab that handle and you're able to lift it right out and on the way. I think we're installed. 
By the way, I've been saying her this whole video, and that's because we're having our first baby girl. Hope that helped a little bit. And good luck.